All right, right on. Welcome to the first edition here of Taylor Ham Tuesday. And already I know there's some controversy there because there's some people out there that like to call it pork roll, but we'll get into that in a minute there. So what I wanna do with these episodes here of Taylor Ham Tuesday is come into the shop, enjoy a Taylor Ham egg and cheese, salt, pepper, ketchup sandwich here, and go over a variety of topics. And these topics I'm thinking that they're not big enough uh, for a whole video. So I'm taking Tuesdays to compile a bunch of these smaller things that I wanna share with you guys. And one of those that I'm gonna share with you today is a day trip that I took over to Seattle, namely to pick up some Taylor ham here. I go over to Pike Place Market and I go over to De La Rente's there where they sliced up some Taylor ham for me there. But then I head over to Hardwick's. Now Hardwick's, is one of the greatest tool stores I've ever been to. They've been in the University District of Seattle for 86 years, and uh, sadly, they are closing. So I headed over to Hardwick's to take a visit and take a walk down the aisles one last time, and I shot some video over there, so I'm gonna share that with you guys there uh, and saying goodbye to Hardwick's there, an amazing tool store. But first, I wanna take you out to the grill here and show you how I like to make a Taylor ham egg and cheese sandwich. So let's head out there. But I guess first, actually, I'm gonna have a bite of this. Oh my God, that is a great sandwich. <laughs> All right, let's head out to the grill. All right, here is the makings for the classic New Jersey Taylor ham egg and cheese sandwich, salt, pepper, ketchup. And so, right, we got the hard roll going here. We got some eggs. Here's this uh, Taylor ham that I had sliced up over there at the deli, right? We got the salt, pepper, ketchup. All right, so to cook this up, Jersey style there, you gotta take this Taylor ham right here and I like putting the three slices just like this. Now, if you don't put the slices in there like that, when you put this in the pan, it just pops up like a cup there. So this uh, allows it to be grilled nice and flat there. All right, let's head over to the grill there and we'll cook this up. Awesome, with the runny egg there and everything. Ugh. All right, Taylor ham invented in 1856 by John Taylor, a, like a food legend, a food god out there from New Jersey, invents Taylor ham. And all right, now my understanding is when he first invented it, he called it Taylor's prepared ham, right? But I think it's something like the National Food and Drug Act of 1906 or something like that, uh, said it's not classified as ham, and so he had to change the name to Taylor Pork Roll. And uh, my take on it was I, the guy had tears in his eyes when he had to change the name from Taylor Ham to Pork Roll. But nonetheless, 
The folks down in South and Central Jersey, they call it pork roll down there. And that's actually where this stuff is made, is down in uh, Trenton, New Jersey there. But up north, uh, North Jersey, where I'm from, Marstown area there, uh, we all call it Taylor ham up there. Right, so all the menus up there, you're gonna see Taylor ham, egg and cheese, salt, pepper, ketchup. And uh, you can get this in a variety of ways. You can get it in these small rolls here, or if you go to the grocery store, right, you can get these little packages here of sliced. You can either get it thick or thin, that type of thing. But the best is uh, to go to a deli there and have them slice it right off the big rolls for you. So uh, let's head over to Del Rente real quick there and uh, see them slicing up some tail of ham. The Pacific Northwest is one of the most beautiful spots in the world. And for me to get over to Seattle there, I have to take a ferry boat ride. And uh, if you have to commute, it is a beautiful ride to do, being out on the water here and coming into Seattle. All right, I'm over here at Pike Place Market, and Pike Place is just a great spot. If you ever visit Seattle, definitely go to the market here. Lots of fresh fruit and vegetables. And uh, when I'm in Pike Place Market, I always like to go down and stop at a place called Poroshki Poroshki. Now, Poroshki Poroshki is a little Russian spot and they make these little potato and cheese and all kinds of varieties of these little piroshkis. I always go with the potato cheese there. And uh, so I had that before heading over to De La Rente. All right, here we are at De La Rente, heading in the front doors here. And this is a great Italian market here in Pike Place. And uh, so I'm just heading in and uh, Boy, they have so much good stuff here. Cheeses and meats and olives and uh, you name it, they got it. And so we're cruising along here and we're going down and we're gonna find that Taylor ham. This is one of the only spots in Seattle that has Taylor ham. And there it is, the great Taylor ham. That looks great, that looks perfect. Thank you. All right, here we are at De La Rente Market here. We're getting some tail of ham, freshly sliced here. I think that's the only place in Seattle you can get tail of ham, right? I, this is what we've heard. That's right. Right? The best mystery meat in the world. <laughs> <laughs> All right, such a great shop De La Rente is there awesome market and now let's uh, head back to the shop all right uh, growing up in New Jersey we always had Taylor ham in the house and it's kind of a staple in New Jersey there and uh, lots of people eating Taylor ham there the old mystery meat but uh, and I know my uh, mother she always had some in the house there and I know she would go down to Atlantic City with her father when she was younger uh, down to the boardwalk there, and they would visit the Taylor Ham stand down there, and uh, boy, that would have been a treat to go to a Taylor Ham stand like that. Uh, but, right, we always had the sandwiches at home, but my first experience having a Taylor Ham egg and cheese salt pepper ketchup was in Marstown, New Jersey, and this is when I was uh, real young, 12 or 13 years old, going out doing some landscape work with my brother, uh, for Green Pride Landscaping there, right in uh, Marstown, New Jersey. And uh, we would stop in the morning at a little place called Johnny's Deli. And it was a, uh, a Greek deli there in New Jersey. And it was a mom and pop operation. It was Johnny and it was uh, his wife there, Marie. And they hardly spoke any English, but you would head in there and there would be a little window in the back there. And you go back there and you shout through this little window, you know, where Marie was cooking. And you'd just say, uh, you know, Taylor ham, egg and cheese, salt, pepper, ketchup to go. And all right, all right, you know, and uh, she'd scramble around back there. And next thing you know, uh, her husband, Johnny, would be bringing it right up to the front there. You get a Taylor ham, egg and cheese, and a little coffee to go in one of those uh, little blue Greek coffee cups there. 
and then uh, and then head out to the uh, pickup truck there and take a ride, you know, and you're trying to balance that coffee as you're uh, cruising through the streets there, eating your Taylor ham sandwich. All right, nonetheless, Taylor ham is a New Jersey classic there, and every time I return to the homeland there, I the first sandwich that I have is a Taylor ham egg and cheese sandwich, and uh, it's just amazing there. And uh, right, people take it a little serious back there, and uh, they'll wrestle you to the ground there, talking about uh, whether it's called pork roll or it's called Taylor ham there. All right, the next thing I want to cover was inspired by Scout Crafter there. And the other day, uh, on one of his episodes, he was showing a Ballantine Ale can opener there. And lo and behold, my grandfather was a truck driver for a Ballantine Ale. Now this is uh, my mother's father there. And uh, he delivered Ballantine Ale all through uh, Northern New Jersey and New York City there, right? So when I was a kid going into my, uh, grandmother's basement there in West Caldwell, New Jersey, they had a bar down there set up and uh, they have all this Valentine ale stuff, the glasses, the trays, and uh, this was always up in the back there on the back shelf uh, of the bar there. And uh, just growing up, you know, in New Jersey area there, so many people have bars in the basements. Uh, you know, out here in the Northwest, there's not really a lot of basements out here. You don't really see that. But New Jersey, it seemed like, boy, everyone's basement, there was a bar going on down there, right? So anyway, this was in the bar always, always seeing this as a kid there. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this up a little bit, just lightly, and I'm gonna put it up here in the shop so I can enjoy this. Uh, off All right, I'm just cleaning this up with a cloth and some hot water there. And it looks like there's some little paint things stuck to this here. It almost looks like spray foam or something like that. But I don't wanna risk uh, taking off any of this paint on these letters, so I might just leave it like that. Unless uh, any of you guys know a good way to get that off of there without ruining the sign there. All right, I'm just gonna turn this sign on here and uh, check out this mechanism in here. This is pretty cool. There's a little motor up here, and it's uh, rotating this piece to kind of get this sparkly effect going behind the sign there. This is a pretty cool design here to make this sign look all sparkly there. You see that little motor rotating there. And then on the sides here, right, it's got these springs to kind of help with the weight there. But here's what it says right on the back of the sign here. Rheingold Breweries Incorporated, Brooklyn, New York. Orange, New Jersey, right? All right, check out that sign. This this thing is awesome here. And uh, we'll just throw up a couple other things right up here. And uh, right, just thinking this sign probably hasn't really been enjoyed probably since like the 60s or something. So. Now it's in operation again here in the shop and I'm really gonna enjoy it. And uh, boy, it's really making me wanna have a cold beer there. And I think uh, Bear Claw and Jeremiah Johnson over there are thinking the same thing. Where's that cold beer? All right, here's a closer look at this Ballantine Ale tray here. And uh, this is just in great shape and what nice colors and a nice logo here. The Rheingold trays, these were always down there in the basement there on Small Avenue in West Caldwell there. And uh, I just wanna say, uh, before we head over to Seattle to go over to Hardwick's there to take the final walks down the island there, I just wanted to show again this tap follower that I got from Dave Hooley there at uh, Gray Ledge CNC. He was really nice uh, to send out this gift. It's a tap follower with right on with John Crane engraved into it. So just an awesome gift and uh, thanks again, Dave. All right, let's head over to Hardwick's and uh, check out the old store. All right, I'm heading into Hard Mix here for what could be the last time. This is a Seattle institution here. I think Hard Mix has been open 
86 years, family owned, probably the best hardware store, tool store I've ever been to. And so I'm gonna go grab the last few minute items here at Hardwick's and uh, say my goodbyes. All right, let's head into Hardwick's here. All right, this could be coming into Hardwick's here for the last last visit. So let's do a little tour. Here we're heading down the hardware section. Look at this place. Just an amazing amount of hardware and stock here. Now here's one of my favorite aisles. This has got all the hammers and I've been buying tools here for so many years. Look at this old box right here. The Gerstner chest here, $9.99. Whole section of Stabila. Look at the store, the store is just amazing. All these clamps. There's not many places you can go and you can find all this kind of stuff right here. Classic hidden gems here at Hardwick's. A prosthetic arm with a hammer. Only at Hardwick's here, a whole box spring. Look at this. Here's just a whole box of taps right here, all different sizes. Everything labeled by hand here. Usually it's got a little description. And uh, then we get into all these cases. Look at all this stuff for leatherworking, punches, levels. Here's what they sell this line here for uh, plumb bobs. Yeah, I get it. kind of mitigate that. I am an artist, so I break things too. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're a great day. Right, any kind of plier that you need, right? All kinds of brands, right? They carry the good stuff, like the Nipex pliers here, cutters. And the store is also a pawn shop, so you can buy a lot of nice used tools here. So they got a bunch of Grands First Brooks axes. I bought a few of those from these guys over the years here. All kinds of Jacob's Chucks here. Taps and dies. A whole aisle of abrasives. Here's an awesome selection of Japanese saws here.
here's the classic section right here. We got a lot of machinist tools in here. Stir it. It's not too many places you can go and you can get stir it tools right off of the shelf. This was always my favorite section down here because you never knew what you were going to find down here. Look at all these. Scout Crafter Red right there. So welcome to Hardwick's. I'm GR. Been here for 35 years about. And here we're now going to close out a bit of credit slip. So we got 3731. We're going to take off five bucks from that. Awesome. Actually, you're you're still going to have some. And you said you wanted a t-shirt? Yeah, if I could get a signed t-shirt, that Let's would be see. deluxe. Uh, do you have any of the Starrett? Uh, Starrett in what size? In large. All right. Oh. Uh, All right. Awesome. A Starrett Hardwick shirt. What more could you want? And then you also wanted a hat? Uh, please. We have this wide variety of colors, black gold, uh, green gold. I'll go with the green one. Uh, and uh, can I also get a signature on this yes. guy? Is Mr. Hardwick available? There was a girl in high school who said I should change my signature. So she's responsible for all this. <laughs> Told you to get creative. Yes, but I was yeah. never able to date her, though. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> Excellent. All right, thanks. All right. Hey, thanks. Okay, well, we see you, Seattle. And as uh, over in Idaho, we hopefully see you there. All right, right on. Thanks, Hardwick. Thanks, Dean. All right, okay, cheers. It. Here's a closer look at the Hardwick shirt and the hat there that was uh, autographed there by Dean Hardwick there. And uh, what a nice special thing to have there. I don't think I'm actually going to wear that shirt. If you ever wanted to wash that, I would wash that right out. So this is probably going to go into a frame or something. And uh, yeah, but who knows? Maybe I'll wear the hat here. All right. Here's this huge wrench that I picked up over at Hardwick's there. And uh, actually, it's pretty tiny there. But as I was walking the aisles there one last time in Hardwick's, this just kind of jumped out at me. And I noticed this red, and I said to myself, I'm like, boy, that looks like Scout Crafter Red right there. And so I thought, ah, maybe I'll pick up this little Stilson wrench there. 
drop this in the mail, send it off to John there, Scout Crafter and Queens there, and uh, see what he can do. Maybe he can work some magic on this little wrench there. I know it's missing a little wheel right there, and uh, it does have another jaw right here. But, uh, you know, that'd be nice to send John a little treasure there uh, from Hardwick's for his collection. All right, so long, Hardwick's. I'm gonna miss you, and I'm sure a lot of other people around here are gonna miss you as well. And uh, good luck in Idaho there. I hope you guys do great, and maybe I'll come out to Idaho and visit the store out there. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of Taylor Ham Tuesday. So each Tuesday, I'm gonna do an episode like this. So I hope to see you guys each Tuesday, along with all the other videos that I'll be doing on different projects here in the shop. And don't forget to go over to my website, rightonwithjohncrane.com, and check out the tool list that I have there. It's a list of all the tools that I have in my tool bag, and you can go there, check out the list. If you wanna buy something, it brings you over to Amazon, but each thing that you do buy, I get a few cents from that purchase, that type of thing, and it helps support the channel. So, all right, I hope you guys are all doing great. I'm gonna finish up my Taylor ham egg and cheese sandwich here, and uh, I'll see all you guys soon. All right, right on.